If you spend a lot of time in the terminal, you're probably pretty picky about the terminal emulator that you use. A lot of people are very attached to Alacrity. I know I am. A lot of people prefer Kitty. That's a fairly good terminal emulator as well, and a lot of people use GNOME Terminal. A lot of people are big fans of Terminator. Really, your choice of terminal emulator is a personal choice, and it really depends on any number of factors, from the way it's customized to the features that it has, how fast it is. There's a ton of things that go into the decision. However, there is one terminal emulator out there that is probably not as well used as it probably should be, and probably because most people think that it's a joke. And the reason why is because it has a lot of fancy effects. Now, this is an application that has been around for a very long time, so I'm covering this kind of late, but maybe this will catch some people who don't know about it. And the application that I'm talking about is called Cool Retro Term. Now, I've heard of this application for a long time. I never tried it because I was like, I'm not a big fan of retro. You know what I mean? I'm just really not like, I like some retro things, I suppose. But for the most part, when it comes to the terminal, I just want to get my stuff done. And I'm very attached to alacrity. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of upset that I didn't try cool retro term sooner because it is really freaking cool. Now, I don't think I'm going to be switching away from alacrity because I have all my configurations there and it has all my theming and stuff like that in alacrity. But... I keep Cool Retro Term installed because it is really cool. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is Cool Retro Term. It's not what it looks like out of the box. Out of the box, it looks like this, I believe, like this right here. This is what it looks like out of the box. And as you can tell, it looks like a Cool Retro Terminal out of the box. It has the kind of fading, scrolling thing that you'd see on an old CRT monitor. It has the odd font rendering and stuff like that. So it kind of looks bowed and stuff. And out of the box right here, I, honestly, when I f saw the screenshots of this for the first time way back when, this is probably the reason why I didn't mess around with it, because I don't really care for this particular aesthetic. It's cool, but I don't find it really all that usable. The kind of the way it is all fuzzy and stuff like that doesn't really work for me, right? I wouldn't want to do anything with it when, it when it comes to like actual work. It's cool to look at, not necessarily all that useful. However, if you go into the settings, which I'll go through more of this here in a minute, there are other options for you that you can choose from. So the one that I settled on was futuristic. Now, futuristic has some of the same things that go on with the default version. So some of the text is still fuzzy and stuff like that, and it still has the rolling lines like you'd see on a CRT, but it's not as bowed and out of whack when it comes to the shape and stuff like that. So this is my preferred profile for it. Now... It's just a terminal emulator, so it's not going to do a ton of extra stuff. I can't really speak on how fast or slow it is, but it's just really kind of meant to be cool. In terms of settings, there are obviously things that you can mess around with. So there are other options for the profile. So this is the terminal green one. This is green scan lines right here. This is the default pixelated version. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't try that one before, and it's really pixelated, but it's cool. This one right here is the version for Apple II. This is the vintage one. Wow, that one, <laughs> it even kind of like shifts. That's crazy. I, I didn't notice that one either. I didn't go through all these, obviously. Um, the This is the IBM DOS one. And then this is the IBM 3278. Uh, that one there is almost hard to read. It's kind of faint, right? And then I showed you the futuristic one, which is still my favorite. So there's different profiles that you can choose from out of the box. But you can also create your own if you wanted to. You could create your profile with certain brightness, contrast, margins, all that kind of stuff here. And you can also add in the effects and how strong those effects are. So things like bloom, burn-in, static noise, jitter, and so on. You can customize those things 100%. So if let's just say to this one here, I wanted to add screen curvature, I could do that. And then I can even choose how curved it actually is up to the point where it even looks like it's kind of on a like a cylinder or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know how useful that would be, but it's cool that you can literally change every theme to however you want it and make it as cool as you want it to be. Again, not useful at all, but still really cool, right? You can also choose how well this thing performs and how much resources it takes up. So you can change you can change how many frames per second the effects take up, the texture quality, the bloom quality, the burning quality, things like that. 
You can also do the normal things like change fonts and scaling and stuff like that as well. Now the one thing you'll notice is that there's not really a place here to create your own color profile. Now you can choose the font color and you can choose the background color, but choosing the full like 16 color normal terminal color palette, I don't see a place where you can actually do that here. But that's not really what this is for anyways. This is supposed to be for fun and for something that you can kind of show off every once in a while in a video or to friends or whatever. I don't know that this would be something that you'd want to use all the time, although I don't really see why you couldn't use it day to day if you find a theme that it has that you really like. So if you like this futuristic one and it doesn't bother you of the effects that it has, there's no reason why you couldn't use it every day. It does all the things that you would normally have a terminal do. So you can like, CD into downloads or, you know, whatever. You can CD into back up a level and CD into your pictures folder. You know, do whatever you want and CD back to the net other one. You know, whatever it happens to be, right? It's just a terminal. It uses your same shell and all that stuff. Now, one thing that I did notice is that it doesn't do a very good job of rendering icons. So even if you choose the proper font. So right now I'm using JetBrains Mono, which is my preferred font or my preferred nerd font the icons show up but they're still really small now i don't know if i can fix that or not i haven't really played around with it all that much you probably can uh, because you can mess around with font scaling and font width and all that stuff so maybe messing around with that stuff will fix that problem but that is something that i notice is that the icons are pretty small so that is cool retro term there's not too much here to say about it it is a really nice little terminal and it's cool right it's <laughs> I don't know how to else to explain it. It has those really neat effects that you can play around with. And while I, like I said, I'm not going to use this thing day to day. I've kept it installed now for well over a month. And it's just really kind of nice to use every once in a while. It changes things up. So if you have thoughts on Cool Retro Term, you can leave those comments in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at the next cast. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all of these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all just absolutely amazing people. I'm so grateful and thankful that you guys support me. I can't even begin to say how much. The channel just would not be where it is today without you guys. So thank you so much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>